Mamelodi Sundown success is because of the money that they have, you know, to sign everything they want. <laughs> this is in accordance with the coach Eric Tinkler. By the way, well done to him for beating Sundowns and making them, you know, at least having one game beaten because yo, they were gonna get that invincible status. And you know, okay, yay, I'm a fan of Sundowns, shame. And Peter Charolile also touches on facing Orlando Pirates in the NetBank Cup final. Who should I start with? Let me start with the uh, story of coach Eric Tinkler. Like I said, Mamelo de Sundowns lost the last game of the season. They never lost a game in the league, but the last one. So, yeah, um, you can already imagine how much planning it took from Eric Tinkler's side. And obviously, it took a mistake also from Mtobi Mvala and then Jaden Rhodes just put it in the net what is it that eric tinkler is saying he says i quote there have been seasons where you have seen sundowns run away with the league yes there's a big difference because they have done it for seven years in a row and the gap between us and them has definitely grown i think that is down to the quality that they have and the financial power that allows that he goes further to say that if you look across the world who is winning the leagues? It's only by Leverkusen in Germany this year. You know, it's only them this year, you know, in Germany. That in reality caused the shock. And you saw with Leicester City also, you know, the other season in the EPL, right? So they've done it here. Is Bayer Leverkusen going to win the league next season? That's another question that Mina I have. I want to see the consistency, you know. But he's just saying that you will see Bayer Leverkusen doing it now for the first time. You will see Leicester City. And, and then after you saw what happened, they even got relegated. I think now they're coming back. Yes, they're coming back. And he goes, he, he continues to say that. Uh, but in reality, Manchester City has all the money in the world. Real Madrid has all the money in the world. And Bayern Munich has all the money in the world. Mamelo de Sundowns has all the money in the world. And those teams end up winning the league. And it's a fact. So guys, I don't have to, I don't have to interpret everything. You hear what the coach is saying. You know, it's the financial power that is making Sundowns to win and the quality, obviously, that they have. Do you agree with him or not? I know that a lot of Sundowns fans obviously don't agree. They're saying that it takes more than just the money. It needs a coach. It needs tactics. It needs, you know, you can have all the quality. But if you cannot be able to create a formidable team or be able to control your team, you know, then... The team will not work. Having quality on its own is not enough. That's what others are saying. I'd love to hear your opinion on the comment section below. What is it that Peter Shalulile is saying about facing Ama Pagania? He says, Guti, the last time we met in the final, you know, was in the M10-8. They beat us. But that is the game of football. But going into the NetBank Cup final is different. Like we said, we want to get the job done. We're going into this match knowing very well that we also have good players, a great team and a good coach. We will do our best like we always do, which is to be positive and make sure that every chance we get, we utilize. This is what Peter Shalila said ahead of the Saturday game. Let me remind you, six goals in 15 games uh you know for o peter shalulile against the orlando pirates and yeah peter shalulile is also a legend you know for me in terms of goal scoring in the psl era wow and he is still gonna score goals but i hope he does not score on saturday definitely i hope he doesn't <laughs>